Hi friends, it's Miss Kathy here. I have a story time today. It's trying to be springtime outside and for some reason it makes me think of potatoes. I don't know. Anyway, I have 10 potatoes. Are you ready? Let's go out to the garden and dig in the ground. Down in the dirt, 10 potatoes can be found. 10 brown potatoes growing so fine. The farmer dug one up and that left, how many? Nine. Nine brown potatoes will be yummy on my plate. The farmer dug up another one and now there are eight. Eight brown potatoes in a line, so even. The farmer dug one up and now there are seven. Seven brown potatoes for my potato pancake mix. Mmm. The farmer dug one up and that left six. Six brown potatoes have grown to a good size. The farmer dug one up and now there are five. Five brown potatoes now. There used to be more. The farmer dug one up and that left Four. Four brown potatoes. They have eyes, but they can't see. The farmer dug one up and now there are three. Three brown potatoes to add to the veggie stew. The farmer dug one up, but that leaves two. Two brown potatoes that never saw the sun. The farmer dug one up. And how many's left? Now there's just one. One brown potato, the last one of the bunch. The farmer dug it up and baked it for his lunch. And they're all gone. Now, I have, whoops, <laughs> let me get everything settled. I have a book about potato. This book is called Rot, the cutest in the world. And it's by Ben Clanton. And there's Rot. <laughs> like most mutant potatoes, Rot loves mud. Eating stuff. Nom, 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 nom. Checkers. King me. Fooey. And all sorts of games and contests. Staring contest, ready, set, go. He's staring in the mirror. <laughs> so, when Rot sees a sign that says, cutest in the world contest, says, enter now this way. He can't wait to enter. He's surprised, isn't he? Rot is sure he'll win. He is so sure he sings a winning song. I'm the cutest in the world, the cutest in the world, the cutest, cutest, cutest in the world. Here's some more contestants. My poor, my poor ears. What is that awful sound? Look at him. But then Rot sees the other contestants. There is an itty bitty baby bunny with fluffy floppy ears. A little widow bewitching bewhiskered cuddly kitten. And an eeny weeny pink and peppy jolly jellyfish. The other contestants don't think much of Rot's chances. My poor adorable eyes, it's hideous. Ick, I think I'm going to be sick. Whoa. That's not very nice, is it? Rot considers eating everyone. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> he would win for sure if he were the only contestant. But it wouldn't be a very nice thing to do and would probably give him indigestion.
Baby Rot would be cuter if he had big ears like the bunny. Look, I look like you. Um, no. Or maybe it would help if he had whiskers like the kitten. They're kind of itchy. You look ridiculous. Take those off. Perhaps if he were pink and peppy like the jellyfish. We're pink and we're happy. <laughs> None of it makes Rot feel any cuter. He doesn't look very happy, does he? So Rot decides to just be himself. He doesn't stand a chance. Is he actually going up there? That takes guts. Last up, rot. There he goes. Well, now. Rot steps on stage and struts his stuff. He smiles his biggest smile. He shows his best side. <laughs> What do the judges think? Drum roll, please. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Rot is the cutest in the world. I think I'm in love. He's perfect. I think they're rotten too. <laughs> Seriously? No way. Huh? Rot gets a great big trophy. Ooh. It is so shiny that Rot can see his reflection. And Rot thinks he looks like the cutest in the world. Ugh. This contest was totally rigged. Wait, are you wearing a unibrow? Um, do you like it? Look, he's trying to look like Rot. <laughs> the end. So I guess, friends, it's important to be yourself. Bye-bye, friends.